Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, good morning, and how do you do? Your face is like sunshine, it brings us good cheer. Good morning, good morning, so glad that you're here. Hello everybody. Glad to see you again. <sighs> Today I'm going to read a nice story about with the help of, actually, this young lady right here. She is an indigenous person, native person, and my daughter used to play with her like Pocahontas. She actually has a little baby backpack, a little papoose on her back. That's where her baby went. We lost her baby a long time ago. So this is the story from Pocahontas called Sparkling, the Sparkling River. And there's Pocahontas. So you're going to sit right here and help me read the story. Okay? The Sparkling River. Go. As the golden sun rose high above the Indian huts, Pocahontas and her friends Miko and Flit set off in their canoe. The river changes every day, Pocahontas said as she paddled downstream. I can't wait to see what we're going to find. Look at that. A fish flipped up beside their canoe, waving hello with its tail. Careful, Miko, Pocahontas warned as the silly raccoon leaned over to wave back. But it was too late. He flopped into the river with a loud splash. Oh no, Miko, look at him. Fell into the river. See all the fish jumping. Pocahontas pointed at, to a patch of sunflowers blooming on the riverbank. Don't they smell wonderful? she asked. But when Fit flew in for a closer sniff, he got his beak stuck inside. Oh no, Flit! Look how shiny they are. And Flit got his beak stuck in there. Oh dear. Goodness. Miko wondered what the tall green grasses growing in the water were. They're river reeds, said Pocahontas, as she picked one, and they're just right for tickling furry tummies. Tickle, 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 tickle. <laughs> and look at who are they? Look how shiny. And these are think they're otters. Mm-hmm, they're otters. Let's see. Oh, look at that. What are those? Butterflies. Flit flew past a group of fluttering butterflies. They quickly caught up to the little bird, thinking that Flit was one of them, until Flit's humming gave him away. Because he's a hummingbird. He makes this sound with his wings. Look how shiny those butterflies are. Under a tree, colorful autumn leaves covered the ground. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Pocahontas asked. Race you to it! With a running start and a big leap, Pocahontas was the first to land in the leaves. Pocahontas jumped in the leaves. And look, Miko is in the leaves too. <laughs> oh, wow. What's happening now? 
Listen, said Pocahontas, as the silver rain landed with a drip, drop. Flit spread his wings as wide as he could, trying to cover his friends. The rain makes the trees and flowers grow, giggled Pocahontas. Maybe it'll make Flit's wings grow too. Oh, wow, maybe. Look at Pocahontas and Miko in the rain. The rain came the last couple of days and my garden is looking so beautiful. Oh, what's that? A rainbow. When the rain stopped, a beautiful rainbow appeared. Look at all the colors of the sky, Pocahontas said, pulling the canoe onto the shore. This is a wonderful place to spend the night. Oh, wouldn't that be lovely? <gasps> Who's there with them spending the night? A beautiful deer and a beautiful rainbow. Oh, look. <gasps> Starlight, star bright. At the end of the day, Pocahontas, Miko, and Flit sat watching the beautiful night sky. What treasures the river showed us today, Pocahontas sighed. And who knows what we'll find tomorrow. <gasps> Look at all the stars. And here is Miko and Flit and Pocahontas looking up at all the beautiful stars. What a lovely day they had. Yep. I see the otters here. I didn't see. Look, there's the otters. <laughs> They're enjoying the lovely day too. Then as the stars twinkled in the sky above, the three friends drifted off to a cozy sleep. Look at them. Under the moon, together, cuddling, nice and warm and that was a nice story from Pocahontas right thank you Pocahontas for sharing your story with us the story is a Disney story and there she is Pocahontas and the sparkling river I hope you enjoyed the story I'll talk to you again Bye, everybody.